I think really uh, for Ghana, as, as we, we, we say, you know, Ghana really initiated the political emancipation of um, our first president, the founder, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And we've gone through um, these 60 years in which we have seen that type of liberation. But I think we've come to a junction that is quite clear that the new liberation is about economic emancipation and trade. And um, as um, um, luck will have it, um, or posterity will have it, um, the headquarters of the Africa Free, uh, Continental Free Trade Agreement area is now in Ghana. Um, so we have moved from a period of political to now economic emancipation. And, and, and I think um, what is then going to happen is that we are now crystallizing 1.3 billion people with uh, GDP of about 2.5 billion uh, with very low intra-African trade um, to say that it is time for us to now get into our own manufacturing, trading between ourselves and strengthening um, the whole issue of uh, an Africa beyond aid. Now when you segue it into the history of people like Du Bois, you begin to see that vision which, trans, uh, which um, um, was, um, was expected um, after political independence. Uh, and so this always, almost culminates in a dream, a vision, you know, some 60 years ago, or maybe even when he wrote his thesis about the independence and freedom um, from slavery. Um, so it looks innocuous, but it really fits into a trajectory of the new beginning of Africa. As a Ghanaian, does it make you, how do you feel having this complex in yeah. I think what it does is that it, it really highlights the idea, um, well, or the sense or the vision that Ghana really is not a geographic area owned by Ghanaians. But Ghana now begins to represent the idea of the total liberation of the African race, wherever they may be. And I think this is uh, a good punctuation mark to it.